A total of 19 crew members were on board the Seacorp Power when it capsized 16 days ago. Six men were rescued. So far, six bodies have been recovered. Seven men are still missing, including three from Acadiana. In Vermilion Bay, volunteers from all throughout Acadiana are continuing to help in search efforts. Katie Easter met with some of them today. Katie, how are they doing now? All week, volunteers have brought food, water, and other supplies to Don's boat landing for those willing to help out with the search. Now they say they are in need of more people with big boats. We're just thinking outside of the box and trying to exercise all, all, all efforts, ideas, everything at this point. So as far as a, a deadline, I don't, I don't really see one until we know there's some type of closure, you know. Early Thursday, a handful of volunteers launched their boat into the Vermilion Bay. We can get involved down here and help out. I know these, these families, they want closure. That's what I want to help out with. Scotty Thibodeau is helping to organize a search through a group Facebook page. I was actually out in Fort Fouchon over the weekend, this past weekend, and I, I've had a reality check just to see, you know, what's really going on and just the emotions behind everything. They, this is one of five. Miles away, Ronnie Adams of Swamp People helps us search in Chauvin. His emotional Facebook Live thanking people for the trailers full of donated supplies. Thank y'all so much for everything. This is just, this is just unreal. Anyone willing to help out with the search is asked to come to Don's boat landing by 8 a.m. on Friday. In Abbeville, Katie Easter, KTC TV.